DC. Let's get into that. Let's so, do it. <laughs> um, Let's get in trouble. How did this even come about? Like, I need to put my phone on airplane mode or something. Cause I'm getting, okay, He's a popular guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. How did this even come about? Like, did you approach KOTD? Was it? Did it exist before the? So I was running the Vancouver division of King of the Dot, right? Because um, for whatever reason, you know, promoters they they like they're like okay. I've, I've lost enough money. I think I'm going to stop. And so I was like next in line. I was like, oh, you know, I haven't I haven't really lost that much money yet. Um, so let me just fucking. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're hearing this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's legit. Uh, and I, I hit up Gannick and, you know, um, we developed a relationship based on, you know, what works for King of the Dot in Vancouver. And uh, and then, you know, during the pandemic, uh, it was like everything got shut down, shut down all the divisions. So there was no more Arizona. There was no more Boston. There was no more Toronto um, King of the Dot division. And Gannick's like, here's the next thing. This is what we're going to do. And I remember getting added to the chat. I remember getting added to this chat. And they're like, uh, Cope, we need you to do some fucking some shit with the judging. We need you to figure this out. And I was like, OK, well, we you know, it's got to be independent from KOTD because it's most importantly is why are you why are you so that's the thing i was thinking why me and i scroll up on the chat and they're like yo we need somebody who's like good with math somebody who's really smart and they're like yeah you should hit up cope and i'm thinking oh my god <laughs> bro i did not finish high school <laughs> i don't know i don't know math and graphs and all you that you come shit. across like, as smart though bro, you do seem like a smart i don't want to fucking actually it's that's a lie i'm super genius actually it's too smart for school that's what it was you know it's too smart enough. so uh, so they're like, yo, can you put together all these graphs and all these numbers and shit? And I was like, yeah, totally. hundred percent. I can chat GPT. Yeah. Let's go. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like freelancing mathematicians, <laughs> like, yo, uh, make me look smart in front of organic. Yeah. Um, and no, it was just like a, it was like a workshop. We just sort of put it together. It's mostly Gannick's brainchild. Like it's his ideas. He had the 10 point system. Um, I just, you know, I really wanted to make it fair. I think that was the thing is I really wanted to make sure that we had integrity and that we were operating um, on a level that was going to be respected. And, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know how well that went, but like we tried, like we were, we were really invested in um, having a good judging system that was going to be uh, respected by, by the battlers and the fans alike. And and, you know, we made sure that people didn't have connections to the battlers. You know, if people were judging shit that they had beef with people. Like, we made sure that all the judges were neutral. We we did everything. The judging system was amazing. The yeah, judging I can vouch for that because I remember, like, one or two judges literally left because they felt like because of the conflict of interest, they Man. weren't getting enough opportunities judges, to judge. Judges were leaving like crazy. <clears throat> judges, like, because it's tough. What a mm. tough job. Here you got to be like, oh, you got to put your opinion, you know, in front of everybody and you're going to get slaughtered for it. And there's like, for, for not much, mm. like this is all volunteer shit, basically. Like you get, you get paid, but it's not like a job, you know? And, uh, and our judges are just getting just murder. I think the difficult thing as well was obviously like even a person like me I love a little online argument yeah but and you can't I know you that's can. the thing I remember getting kind of told off for replying to a couple of or making a post in, in the right. KOTD group or something and it was like yeah I can't I get it in it I suppose yeah I've just got to do what I'm told because I'm grateful to be here I suppose people who probably felt that they were bigger than me or bigger than the IJC or whatever they probably felt fuck this shit I don't want to I don't want to uh, have to follow these rules and shit like that in it but for me personally i just felt like you know what i'm grateful to be it's a good opportunity if this is how they need me to to be then you know i'm gonna put i'm gonna rein that in Man, for a minute that's a great attitude and like we needed that you needed people who were going to volunteer and in the truest sense of the thing you know like like this was a revolutionary shit that we created and you had to really give yourself to it you had to you know um take care of your image you had to take the high road and all the arguments you we had a bunch of rules there was there were so many things that the judges hoops that the judges had to go through in order to judge in order to be a part of it and they got nothing in return except being a part of this important historic moment for for judged battle rap in uh in north america yeah no but it's a flex as well like, i'm not gonna lie to you like even the fact that i was in a group chat with mickey fax and mike g from odd future yeah like yeah. that was that's like when i because my little brother was a big odd future fan and that in it so when i told him and i showed him that like, i wasn't lying like he was gassed and obviously again mickey People. fax like he's certified in the industry and shit so like for me again just to, to have to be in a group chat with these people and be considered a peer 
you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. For me, that was like good for my my self esteem as a brand, didn't it? Do you get what I'm saying? We were like we were all close. <clears throat> like we like I really love all of the people who are part of the IJC. You know, past and present. Like it, it's it's a uh, especially when you go through something like that with somebody. You know, it's <clears throat> um. Man, a lot of people like couldn't hang. A lot of people just mm. had to bail. They just couldn't take all the negativity. They couldn't take the workload. They couldn't take the high uh, standards and expectations. Um, the system wasn't complex, but you had to do it right. I remember like 100 bullets, like he went outside the system and we were like, no, mm. straight up, you can't do that. And he's like, okay, fine, I'm out. I'm like, fuck, man. Like he gave, uh, what was it? He gave somebody... He gave somebody a 10 and they choked in the round. He gave yeah, uh, yeah. Gage a 10. Yeah. He was like, I just thought if he got, if he didn't choke, it would have been a 10. That's not that's how the, judging that's the whole works, point bro. Of the, the, that's the whole point, isn't it? That's crazy. Uh, but it was great and a, a great opportunity to, to do some shit and make some connections and and uh, make some noise. And, and the season went really well. I think, obviously, there were some hiccups, shit that you can't see coming. You, you just don't know until you do it. Oh,